What's up everybody, Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors and I'm in the BCO garage and we just got back from an epic adventure which I'm about to show you. Now normally I do an introduction on the road on the way to where we're going but I had so much footage filmed that I actually had to free up some space to film it so the introduction got deleted. But here's a post-adventure introduction to the adventure. So we ended up going to four epic places today just amazing places to see in the desert and it started out as just a trip to go and find the silver king mine cemetery which is an old pioneer cemetery that only has three or four graves but we couldn't find it we had old maps we had old pictures and we drove out into the desert with a basic idea and just by a stroke of luck we find it and you'll see that in there so we found the cemetery headed back went to a rock corral I uh, went to a stone cabin and finally at a place called The Crack, which is absolutely amazing. So follow along with us and do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe down there, and I'm going to keep bringing you all kinds of adventures, more cool products, all kinds of neat stuff. And if you have an adventure that you want to see us do, by all means, comment below. We're all about exploring. We haven't seen everything, but we'd sure like to. So without further ado, on with the adventure. Right down there by those. Oh, I see it. See it? I see the graveyard. Where is it? Okay, um, I see the gated one. I see another one. Are you kidding me? I was almost there. <sighs> okay. Oh, when you were walking? Okay, honey. Mm -hmm. You see directly in front of us, down in the gully, there's a whole bunch of saguaros. See that little yeah. dip, 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 dip? look? See the one that looks like a giant, like castle. The second one from the left. Yeah. Look straight up from there at the same height as the saguaro that looks yeah. like a fork, just to the right of it. Yeah. See oh, that, that square cross? thing? Oh, oh I was... didn't see that, but I thought it was just a bush. Uh -huh. And then just to the right of that, here you go. And then just to the right of that. So if we stop where you were walking, was that good? I was almost there. Really? I was 30 paces from it. We could walk up there. Okay. It's an easy walk. Break or leave the dogs? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Now scroll over to the right, and you see that rocky outcropping? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. That's where I was about halfway between that and the grave when I stopped and turned around and saw Cassie. So Cassidy. I wonder if you can walk straight up to it or not or if you have to go that way well see look at all the cattle pet uh, things also i didn't know like you walk by those can if you go by the cactuses that might be that's in the wash oh. see the road is on this side of that oh. i think yes. we're really like the easiest yeah that is it you think they'd have like the, the road i went up was really easy i can see it there there's the tank traps right there okay we're so close i mean it's a quarter of a mile tops oh yeah wow you see it sweets yeah. All right, we're going. I'm just very
ghost like bed by electricity. I mean, it's gotta be blocked off for a reason. Yeah, because somebody owns it and didn't want anybody up there, apparently. Parked by the toilet paper. Oh. What? I'm letting Zen out. Okay. Do you want to carry it? Do we want to carry it? Wow. All right, we finally found the cemetery spot. So we drove up this road, ended up clear up on that hill and got out binoculars and looked across. So we parked right here in this wash. And just a few minutes ago, before we went all the way up the hill, we found this area here. It's got a fence across. I don't want anybody driving, but I think people were driving up it because somebody came through here and made tank traps with a, with a track hoe. So we were kind of in the base of that hill over there, looking across here and saw the graves that are in the pictures for the Silver King Mine Cemetery. So now we're trucking up the trail here, which as you can see, the road's been destroyed. They don't want anybody driving up here. That would even take a lot of work for me to get through here in the VCO Adventure Jeep. But, definitely used to be a road here. So we've probably got about a quarter mile hike. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. These are the two that we saw from across the way. Apparently there's only like three graves here, so this must be one, two, and three. Philippa and Richard Trevithan, Trevithan, 1844 to 1896 for Philippa, and 1846 to 1920 for Richard. I don't think you can pick a more beautiful setting for a final resting spot, that's for sure. This one is definitely showing its age. It's like the whole back part was rusted or torn off of it. And I don't see a headstone or anything, but I do see this piece of shale down here. And it looks like my son found another grave. As you can see, they're hard to see when you have bushes growing right through them. I don't know if there's a stone in this one either. But it's fenced off. So at some point somebody knew it was here. Just a side note, it is very peaceful up here. There's a gentle breeze, about 87 degrees. And the surroundings here are beautiful. And in contrast to our experience at the historic Pinal Cemetery. Nothing feels off here. Everything feels peaceful and at rest, I guess would be the best way to say it. Thank mm -hmm. you.
big uh, watery hole right there. Weird. There's like pipes over here too. Oh, look at that! It's like a little dam. This road. This is what I was talking about. What's that? <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's cool. Well, let's go take a look, squirrel. All right. I'll just leave the car running. So on our way to the miner's cabin, we stopped at the rock corral. I don't know much about it. Yeah, I'll put some information down below of whatever I can figure out, but we found a trail sign Which I'll put a picture up for you And it said rock corral, so we backtracked maybe a few hundred meters Said that in metric for my daughter's benefit and Sure enough, there is a Rock corral right in the middle of the desert How cool is this? Little cattle paddock. It's all stone and mortar walls. Very cool. That's really cool. Yeah. I wonder if they still use it. I would imagine they do. I mean, because it looks like there's a spring down here, a watering hole down here. This is all green. Jeez. All right, on to the miner's cabin. Oh, there's a big sign down there. There's a couple big signs down there.
What? Is it a sign or is it a push? No, that'd be a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a bush. our third destination today. Well, I guess the Stone Corral was kind of an accidental second destination. But. So this is really neat. We made it to the stone house. It's parked right in front. I'll have to move my Jeep so Lana can take some better pictures. Excuse my engine noise. Like that piece is a little bit more run down. Let's take a look inside. Oh wow. Looks like the remains of the roof in here. That is really cool. Yeah, a lot of debris. A little stove in the corner there made out of a barrel. secondary structure here it's obviously all run down that's definitely a pretty modern windmill but it looks like it's still pumping water into this holding tank This looks like it used to be a cattle paddock down here, but it's really overgrown. There is either a, that looks like a watering hole. It doesn't look like a well. See, it's got the pipe pumping the water into it. Here's the watering hole. Doesn't look very deep. Definitely still being filled by that windmill over there. Old cattle paddock here that's definitely not being used. Cool old stuff. Apparently there's a, another building down here, and down towards the windmill and the pump. Oh yeah, that one's seen better days. That might have been. Cool oh, yeah. Well, it's on the way home. Right? Yep. Yeah. And we're still going the same direction as home.
Jeez, look at the look at the cactus out here. <laughs> we are going straight up. Kicking and screaming and clawing. Ooh, almost to the top. This one, I'll just keep going steady as she goes here. There's lots of light on all these rocks. Yep. <laughs> I can lie, my pedal's almost to the floor right there. <laughs> Oh, what? Stop. Yeah, I'm going to stop right here. So this is the trail. So this, this path goes up and over and goes parallel to... So you remember where we got off the highway in Superior? We're going to get back on the highway in Queen Valley. Somebody lost a shock right there. What? You gonna pick it up? So, you would have to take the bolt out. So it, it broke, the mount broke on one side, and then they probably just unbolted it and left it. What's that? Take a picture. Like that? Yeah. I'm filming right now, so. It ends up being a lot smoother than you think it's going to be. Oh, Except for that one. Can't get any higher than that, so it's got to come back down.
right, we've just arrived at, I think it's our fourth destination today, which is affectionately known as The Crack. I had never heard of it until now, but it starts here, and it goes this way. This is a natural formation right in the middle of Arizona called The Crack. It's pretty deep. It's just a, almost like a, a tiny little box canyon. And it just keeps on going. All right, we're driving over the north end of the crack. Dip. We're gonna drive over here where the family is. Let's see what's going on. goes all the way over there that's where we drove across it looks like if you're really brave you can get down into it oh, like my kids are right now but it just cruises up that way just amazing come down here so I can get a reference of how tall it is Wow maybe this will be a box canyon you could can drive through in about uh, two million years Is that a giant thing of petrified wood right there? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's more right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? Yeah. All right, so we're going down into the crack. Oh, it's a little spot you can get down. Try not to break my face on camera. Because, oh. Wow. <laughs> This is the coolest thing in the world. Man, look at this. Look at the... It's like petrified wood and all kinds of stuff stuck in there. Oh, wow. This is amazing.
Well, there you have it. That was an absolutely amazing day. Not only did we go out and find the cemetery, which was very difficult to find, but we ended up seeing three other awesome things. We saw the rock corral, we saw the stone house, and we saw the crack. I mean, it was an amazing day. We saw a really cool things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're going to continue to bring you awesome adventures out in the Jeep, all kinds of innovative products, reviews, things like that. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or places you'd like to see in a video, comment below. We're all about it. So that's it for now. For Bull Canyon Outdoors, this is Chris signing off. Happy trails, everybody.